Our adventure is about to start again. Can you remember where we started off? From the snow in Madonna di Campio, with the quad bike on which we crossed mountains and forests. Then there were the water bikes that we crossed Lake Gardo with, right up to Sermione, from where we are setting off today with the spiders and with Rodolf. So what are we waiting for? Hey Maurizio, now that I know you a little better, I can assure you that we're going to have fun today. There is one key link between all our adventures, water. We're leaving Lake Garda to head off to Mantova, following a road that unfolds along the shore of the Mincio River. And then cross the Padana Plain and the Apennines to get a taste of something different, the sea where 600 horsepower are waiting for us in the form of two Evinrud outboard engines. But that's another story. Traveling with a Can-Am Roadster Spider, like this one, allows you to really take in the scenery. Traveling is truly a pleasure, and not just a way of getting from one place to another. I've just been driving for a couple of minutes and I have already discovered two big advantages to this vehicle. It's incredibly stable thanks to its three wheels. Then there's the fun of being on a bike, wind in your hair and all that. It has a 1,000 centimeter cubed by cylindric engine made of Rotax. BRP produces all engines for its company cars. Right, here we are at Mantova, after having crossed over the Mincio more than once. Did you see the charming place Vallejo? What fantastic views. Travelling like this really gives you the freedom, and it's easy to look around you and take in the views. Here is Mantova, surrounded by four lakes that were built by blocking the Mincio River, in fact with 1,100 dams. I got here to Mantova via the Spider RS, which is the most sportily aggressive and just fantastic to drive. But now I have the opportunity to drive the RT model, the Touring, which is very comfy. Our voyage continues as we have an appointment with the sea. These are the three BRP spiders. The RT model is the most comfortable with wide and soft seats and electrically movable windscreen, a dashboard that hosts centralized digital displays and the sat-nav on the same place as all the commands, so you can get to it really easy. The brake is built in, the handbrake hydroelectric, automatic gear shift and lots of accessories. You can even get heated handlebars. The RS model can go from 0 to 100 in 4 seconds. The Touring model is made for long journeys. To make the indecisive amongst us happy, they have made an intermediary model. The Sport Touring, a technological marvel. Brembo brakes and an Acropovic exhaust. 
I 105 cavalli sono scaricati. The 105 horsepower are discharged through this wide pneumatic. The tread on the tires alone could keep this bike upright. But in front we've got two wheels and an intelligent system that makes sure the bike is stable on corners. I don't know who thought of inventing this machine. As soon as I saw it, I thought that it could have been a designer who wanted to show off his flair. Look how gorgeous it is. Then I tried it out and understood that a team of engineers had designed it, people who wanted to enjoy themselves driving it. By the way, you need a car license to drive one. So, Rodolf, even today has been wonderful, with these spiders bringing us down to Porto Venere. What about tomorrow, then? Tomorrow, 600 horsepower. All right, I'm curious. What those? <laughs>